And it was hair, and it was hair, and it with you. What's up, bro? You know what's going on, man? Let the people know who you fucking with, man. Man, it's Trap Dicky, man. I'm straight from Carolina, and I'm fucking with the streets is watching, man. That's For shit, with, man. so we for in the so. building, man, with the with the great Trap Dicky, man. Yeah, hey, man, <laughs> listen, so I'm going to start it off like this, for real, for real. Um, You got some shit going on. We're going to get into that in a second, but um, that Blue Devils is hard. Yeah, yeah. Blue Devils is hard. Appreciate hey, you. That. You Appreciate you got the baby on that bitch though. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like that's crazy, bro. A whole lot of Carolina stuff. That's all it is. That's Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So so first off, uh, man, we appreciate you fucking with us. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? I see. I've been paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Peeping game. Just keeping my eye out. I see you've been making some waves. You yeah. know what I'm saying? With the music, right? For everybody who just tuning in, for the people who don't already know who you are, like, can you tell us what got you into rapping and, like, how the journey been so far? Um, my brother, actually, my little brother, what got me into rapping. Really? He was the one that kind of started me rapping. He was rapping, and I just jumped on his way. Yo, little brother. Yeah, my little brother. That's crazy. Been, so how much how much younger is your little brother than he you? He's, like, three years younger than me. You know wow. What I mean? like, we don't look at age as a... A thing, you feel me? You can yeah. learn from a child, you know right. what I'm saying? So, you, can, you can gather inspiration from anybody. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I can dig that. That's so, tough. So that's what it was. He was rapping. I jumped right behind him. Um, right. So when he got incarcerated or locked up, I, if I'm free, I'm rapping. If I'm incarcerated, he rapping. That's how it was like for right. a little while. Pink Damn. Running. Yeah, y'all just taking it how I go. Yeah, taking it how I go. Ain't no wrong with this. So yeah, but but yeah, as far as the journey though, like how has, how has it been so far? Like, oh, shit. Uh, I can tell y'all learned that it's just a business. You feel what I'm saying? Don't yeah. don't get caught up in it. It's all a business. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the music game is really just a business. Like, right. don't think everybody is Superman. Don't think people are not human either. Like you feel what I'm saying? Right. But definitely, this is a business. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's about some money now. Yeah, it's all about the money. You feel what what you say? What you say? So 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 far, you will say. It's just, it's been, it's been good, it's been bad, it's just kind of been what it is. Nah, like, it's just been what it, exactly what it is. Right. Like, it's just been a movement. Like, right. Like uh, you said, it's business. Yeah, yeah, it's business. Like, some people might look at it as, when they doing it, they might ha have a lot of fun, you know what I'm saying? Right. To me, I, I make good money to be able to feed my children, but like I said, it's still right. a business, you feel me? Right. It's days I got to wake up knowing that I got a show tonight, so I got to prepare for this, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Can't, everything can't be a joke, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Guys, this shit is very serious, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, for real, I mean, people don't understand, like, what we do in entertainment and, like, and, like entertainment news, and yeah. this shit is, like, depending on, so, so for one, sometimes it depends on the level that you at, and it depends on how much you're doing, you know what I'm saying, who you involved with and, and some of the spaces that you're in. But basically, my point is, this shit can be a very big deal. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, it depends on certain circumstances, but this shit is not a game. Like yeah, you said, definitely. every day is not a joke. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we do get the, we get the pop out shit. Yeah. Have a little fun. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Definitely. It's always, you know, it's always a, at least a little bit of time for that. But... At the end of the day, man, we, like you said, it's a business. Definitely, that's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? It's all about making the money. It's all about staying who you is, staying true to yourself. Because some people are down, you know, sell their soul for the bread. And when I mean sell your soul, I'm not saying, like, you know, pray to another God. I'm saying, like, right. do something that you know you wouldn't do right. in your lifetime. Right, you feel right. What I'm out of your character. You will yeah, compromise of, yourself. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. you said, man, sometimes, like, selling your soul might not be literal. It's figurative. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like you said, something you just wouldn't do. When you willing to when you willing to break your own rules yeah, once for the you, sake of some yeah. sort of gain or some shit, yeah. you 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 it's very easy to lose yourself. Yeah, once you know you what I'm saying? yourself and the morals that you believe in. You right. Know, that's to me, it's selling your soul. I don't think if people actually sell their soul to the devil right. now. I think they actually, you know, sell their soul like sell their morals. They yeah, they compromising themselves. Yeah, Who they are as yeah. people. That's all that be to me. That's what right. I think it is, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, I'm happy you said that. No, nah, they make they make a lot of fucking sense though. And like you just said, man, it's 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 a lot of staying true to whoever you are in yeah. this shit. You know what I'm saying? And like, um, so many of us in entertainment are doing either the same thing or it's something about it that's similar. But um, whoever you are is what brings out. Um, like you know, what I'm saying the difference, yeah, in in like whatever your art is or whatever you creating, you know what I'm saying. So, like you said, man, staying true to yourself. Um, so 
like from from the shit that I've heard that you drop, right? Your sound is definitely like different in the trap scene. Yeah. Like, um, the, like again, going back to that Blue Devils, the production on that bitch, the fucking sample that, like, if you're not paying no attention, you yeah. would not even catch. Yeah. That fucking, I, I, I just left, um, my my dad's house, and I was telling my little brother like to listen to it because he knew he knew who you were, right? But he was trying to like make sure and connect the dots. He was like, "Man, you you going to see Trap Dicky? Like, is this who you are? You sure this who you talking yeah. about?" I'm like, "Yeah, he just had the remix with the baby, you know what I'm saying?" Yeah, yeah. But he played he played that Blue Devils, bro, and just hearing that beat drop, I'm like, "Yeah, this shit heal up." Oh yeah, man. Like you gotta understand. I feel like the difference in my sound come from a definitely where I'm from. Like it definitely comes right. from where I'm from. Carolina it's shit. Carolina shit. Like, right. You feel me? Because you got other people that's from Carolina, especially other rappers. Like we all got a different sound. Right. Like you got people from the the upper state of eight four three. Like, I wouldn't say upper state, but like the lowest end of the upper state. Okay. So, okay. Like they sound like more Geechee. Like, you know, a whole different type of language than us. Damn. And if you watch the dude from the Panthers, like the Xavier guy, like okay. he sound he sound way different than me too. But yeah. we're all from South Carolina. Oh, nothing to like. You know what I mean? At all. But That's so crazy. Carolina. We all from Carolina. Right. It's like probably an hour away, right. two hours away, but a whole different language. Man, it's so crazy, right? Like like you said, even an hour. Yeah, just that can hour. make all the difference, yeah. man. Like, like we see it every day. Like, you'll be on the road, and this whole neighborhood is trapped out. Yeah, a block away, and it's a bunch of normal houses. Another yeah. block away, it's a bunch of beautiful homes, and yeah. it's suburban damn near. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. totally different. So, I mean, it's like it's it's just uniqueness, man. Again, staying true to whoever you are, from wherever you from, wherever you from, doing your thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly what it's about. So, I know you're saying that everybody's style is different, but as far as yours, like, how would you describe yours? Because, like you said, it's unique and it's a Carolina thing. But, like, how else would you describe what you sound like? Uh. What I sound like, or yeah. what, like, what like your, I like am. your whole, your sound, your style. Oh, when oh, you create, you know I'm what I'm saying. I'm a corner boy, like exactly what it is. A white tee wearing, you know what I'm saying. That's exactly what I am. Yeah. Like I'm just a regular guy, like a nigga that you see at the store. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying. Just imagine the old guys that you see at the store that sound like you know he got a good sound to him. Yeah. That's exactly what I am. I'm a, I'm a regular guy, a regular street guy. Yeah. You know yeah. What yeah. I'm That's exactly what it is. No, nah, for ain't, real. Ain't nothing else to it, like. I can't describe myself as this or that. I'm just a regular street guy. Like yeah. that's all it is. The one that a guy that you could know that made it out of the streets. That's Real it. shit. Real shit. I can respect that. So so you say a guy that, that made it out the street. So yeah. that kind of brings me into my next question, right? Like, as far as your message, like what is it that you're trying to convey when you make music? Or do you feel like it's a message that you want people to hear when they hear you? Um I can't directly say I'm giving a message. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to say I'm I'm leading something then then I'm not a part of not 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 saying I'm leading something that I'm not a part of I'm trying to get that that I'm a hypocrite I don't want to say I'm a hypocrite oh, okay so okay okay I don't right want to say I'm leading something Th to this this and movement then and then you I'm really leading another movement you know what yeah I'm so I'm really just speaking on my lifestyle like as my as my message is, it is is like you can survive it like yeah. you can hear everything I'm talking about and knowing that. I went through it for real, for real, and survived it. Like it ain't no cap in my rap. You so made it through. I'm, yeah, I, everything I'm speaking about is in the past. It doesn't happen, or, yeah. or, or it's currently going on. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm just getting through it. So it's like. Right. It just finished or yeah, some shit. It, yeah, like this yeah, is still yeah. current. This is a part of my life. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Everything I, I I make, I just try to make the relatable music to the lifestyle of people that's living. Period. You feel what I'm saying? Like just if you living in life. I'm going to make something that can touch you. Yeah. Cuz I'm out here. Okay, so 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 from what I'm here authenticity and versatility. Yeah, reality. Like something reality for everybody. Shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Trap dig I I give you reality music. Like this is what's going on right now. You feel That's me? Tough. And if it happened 20 years ago, it's still going on right now if you right. live in this lifestyle. You know right. Right. It's always and, and, and even still even if it ain't going on right now, I done already did it, but it was a part of my story regardless. Yeah, it right. actually happened. Yeah, like, 
Like it's it's nothing but history that to me I'm real just giving shit. you a lesson. Real uh, shit. Real street lesson. It's nothing but history. I'm just giving you a lesson. Yeah. That's that's tough. We needed that. Yeah. We needed that. It's nothing but history. I'm just giving you a lesson. I can dig that. That's real tough. So, um, you just you just dropped your last project, right? Um, actually, been a couple of years ago. Um, I'm, um, I'm getting to dropping something new probably next year. Okay, okay. So a couple of years ago, with that, so with that last project, let everybody know what the name of the project is. Trap or die. Like trap or die. die. Yeah, trap or die. If you really want to know, like. Before you get into the question, I'm gonna go ahead and answer it. Trap Dicky is really my real like. My real name is Travis Dicky. My rap name is Trap Dicky. You feel right. what I'm saying? It ain't it, everything authentic in it. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's trap or die. Yeah. You feel me? It's trap or die. That's <laughs> where I get the name from. I get my name from my real name. You feel yeah. What I'm saying? So real shit. So with that with that project, what inspired Trap or Die? Um, like, how did that end up being what it was? What brought that out? A uh, Jeezy, like it was like I, like I just said, I knew I was coming home. I'm a, uh, I'm coming to the game, right? As exactly what I said, white tee corner boy, like exactly what I'm giving. I'm giving you real lyrics from the streets, right? So it was like trap or die, cause that what Jeezy was back in the day. It was right. really it was trap or die. Man, when you said that instantly, I'm like, damn, Jeezy, that's yeah. gotta be like yeah. Jeezy must have inspired something yeah, with like, that. It's yeah. trap or die. Yeah, the corner yeah. store white tee, you know, cause that's where you seen Jeezy. You know? Back in the day, when you seen people that love Young Jeezy, you seen them with big white tees or right. the, the, the shirt with the snowman. Or, Facts. You feel me? Facts. Like, we used to wear we used to wear big and bulky. Yeah, like that was that saying. was that real two thousand trap street shit. That's just what was going on. So I just try to give off the same type of vibe, like you right. know, the corner boy white tee, Air right. Force Ones wearing. We straight to it, like no music. cow, no cow. That's tough. So you bring it, you bring it the. The 2020s version of that vibe. Yeah, the definitely. current version yeah, of that vibe. Like, definitely. Like, you remember how it was when the rappers went from 1990s to 2000s and right. 2010. Right. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just the, the, the originator of the 2020s. Of the, you feel me? I'm right. The originator. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same swag. It's just an update. Yeah, you feel me? I'm not. Yeah, man. I don't have nothing against it. It's just that I'm not the one, you know, painting the nails and. Yeah, wearing a tight clothes, you know, just corner store wearing. It. Yeah, yeah. So you more so you more so true to it and not new to it. You you sticking with what you used to. Yeah, sticking to. I was raised by my grandparents. You feel what I'm saying? I can't switch it up. Facts, facts. Okay, I can dig that. No, nah, that make a lot of sense. So, on so you say Jesus inspired that project. Yeah. On that project, like, do you have any tracks that, like, kind of hold a special place for you? Or, like, like when you recorded that shit, like, damn, this song about this shit feels special. Like, I really like this song or that song. Brother Zone on that tape, I think, was one of the... Brother the, Zone? Yeah, I think okay. it was one of the biggest songs on that tape. I actually, I, I can't even remember because I, I used to play that tape out so much. But Brother damn. Zone was the one, I think, that actually hit it to a different level on that tape. It was a good song. Right. So what a, what about that one that that was like so special for you? Uh, cause the same thing. I went live in the studio, you feel me? And then as I'm recording, I, I think I got one of my little kids with me as I'm recording it. So it was a whole different moment. I was in Atlanta having right. fun. It, it was wow. different. Wow. So you had your babies with you? Yeah, I had the, the Rugrats with me. Damn, yeah, that's tough, man. That's that's crazy because I remember um, a situation where I think I think um, Twenty One Savage and J Cole was linking up like on some same like on some similar type of time. One of them had their kids with them, and they was just talking about like how crazy and genuine and authentic it was to just like see them in that environment. It wasn't no bunch of niggas, it wasn't a whole bunch of bitches in the studio. I got my kids with me, bro. Oh, and I'm I'm being a father and I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And like for real, man, it's something that's so tough. Like it's so hard about that, bro, because it's like it's showing your humanity. Like oh, yeah. I'm you know I'm saying like you said, I'm just a regular Corner boy, street nigga type of guy, man. I'm just a normal person. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm trap dicky. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. For shit show, don't forget that. But again, I'm just a regular dude. Yeah, like you know I, what I'm saying. I, 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 I don't really care for the spotlight because, like, I had it as a child. Right. So it was like, ain't no need to act new to this. It's kind of right. 
Not saying normal, because this shit ain't normal, you feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, it's still normal. definitely it's not normal. Now. Like, it's different. People say, hey, I, I grew up to your music and stuff like that. But right. as a insane. kid, like, I don't want a couple of talent shows and stuff like that. You get what right. I'm saying? Made right. the basketball team all the time, never been cut. Right. Like, I even made the football team. I know I wasn't the best football player. The coach but you was made like, it. Yeah, the coach would throw me on because he... You trade, like you trap dick, you feel Yeah, like, right. That's I was, crazy, I man. Known. Like I already had a name for myself before right. the rap. So it was like I as the rap came, it was easy to kinda take it and soak it in and stuff. Right. So it's new but it's not new. Nah, nah, nah. It's yeah. new as hell, but it ain't it. But it still ain't new yeah, at all. Yeah. yeah. Spotlight yeah. ain't new, but the attention right. new. Yeah, right. The attention. amount of attention yeah, is yeah, new. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, but you you already had a taste long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like, I, I won middle school talent shows and shit like that. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, so. Nah, I can respect that, man. It's, it's, certain people just, it's just like, they got it, man. Yeah, you know, you like certain people, the natural attraction, you know. Yeah, you, know? you can see it. You know what it is when you're looking at it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. For I sure. Up. So, yeah, so, um, th so this is the other thing, too. We was just talking about the project and like what inspired that project. You said Jeezy, but when you when you creating, when you in the studio, what does your like your creative process look like when you when you putting something together? Like, like when you mean that, are you asking like the people in there, the stuff going on, what about whatever, them? whatever, whatever, whatever you do as a part of your process. Like if that's something that you like, like how do like how do you go about your process? Like when you making. Music? Do you go in? Are you like a punch in type of dude? Oh, we get do you the like work. the white like, balls? I ain't gonna lie to you. We get the work. We doing it all. Like it's, it's times I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I might go in up. I might go to the studio. This shit already set up. Right. Like I already got the the beat. I already got what I'm gonna rap. I already got like I already got it written. It's already. I'm finna probably go in for 25, 30 minutes. You feel what I'm saying? Knock like, that shit out and get the fuck on. Get on through. But it, it do be times where like uh. Yesterday, like, you uh -huh. feel me? Airbnb status, set the equipment up, studio, find a beat for me, you feel me? I'm gonna go right. ahead and chop it up as a, as the mic in front of me. Right. You feel me? I might say about eight eight bars or four bars, then pause, type up some more on my phone and get the spit. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, so you can write it out, you can freestyle and let the vibe guide you, however you need to do yeah, it. Yeah, however, however the moment is coming. Like, Damn. If it's on the spot, it's on the spot. If it's not, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Right. Either way, I can I can name both times where I came with some good trash. You feel me? Right. Blue Devils was on the spot. That'll make it even better. You feel me? Nah, I ain't Blue no Devils way. Was on the spot. Blue man, Devils you ain't was. come up with that just raw like that, man. Blue Devils, if you ever listen, Blue Devils have no hook. You feel me? Nah, facts. It's just, facts. It's just me. It's not no stop or no pause nah, on that bitch. It's just bars. Nah, me talking about Carolina, that's the first thing you hear me pop out. The mom, they go trap. You always talking about two letters. And yeah. they go straight to Blue Devils and Tar Heels and Right. I just get the rapper. That's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Cause like you said, there's no hook and that's and and that makes it like that makes it all make sense. Like like when you said that, yeah. example, that's you just really brought it together for me though. Oh, and yeah. that yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, and I'm hearing it in my mind. I'm like, yeah, no, Damn, hook, no, no that no, really no, makes sense. Just went to straight rapping. Straight rapping. Nah, for real. So, like, I, man, we see you done work with, like, the baby, bro. Yeah, I want to get back to that. Yeah, like, you you done had some big name people that you done work with so far, oh, right? Yeah, 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 so, yeah. like, using him, for example, and, and other people that you might have worked with, like, what's, what's one of the most, or the, I'll say the most, what's the most important lesson that you done picked up from everybody that you done worked with, like, some of them collabs? Um, the baby, the ba the baby collab showed me so much in the rap game. Like right. it showed me that if somebody really want to do something for you, or they really deal with you, they deal with you. Yeah. Like the baby showed me how he was already rocking with me, mm -hmm. invited me to the studio, invited me wow. to the spot, invited himself. Like nigga, let me come to your hood. Let me right. shoot the let's shoot the video. Like everything he did, it was on some. I do it. Just yeah. Let me, like let me know. Right. Like, for real, for real. It was real. It was genuine. Yeah, it was off, off the muscle, on the street. Everything strength. was authentic. You know what I'm saying? Everything right. was authentic. You feel me? 
even if I tried to give a dollar, he wouldn't take no dollars. Like, wow. He wasn't, like, he wasn't going for that. That's crazy. And it's funny that you said that because that kind of answers a question. I know a lot of people might have been wondering, like, damn, this dude got the baby. How did that work? Like, did he, uh, like, how yeah. much was the, was the, the, oh, yeah. the, uh, the feature prices? Bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I ain't taking no, like, it don't matter. Yeah, Either like, I fuck with you or yeah, I don't. I with, like, you got to think about he a made nigga. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. It ain't no right. price that can make me do it no more. Like, right. hey, I'm not hungry for no paper. Like, I'm not even in that that mode to chase paper no more. You know what I'm saying? That's I'm only crazy. doing what I want to do. Right. At that at that moment, you got you to think about who's paying J. Cole for a feature? Who's paying J. Cole? You can't. You feel what I'm saying? You can't pay you Cole got, for a feature, these bro. These guys doing it because they want to. You feel what I'm saying? Wow, yeah. So for him to do it, it was just like a, a, a mind-shocking lesson, a big lesson to know, like, tra trapping somebody, if they deal with you or they rock with you, how they say they is, they, they coming like this. Right, right. Yeah, he, and, and it's funny because it's like, like now, with you being exposed to that and seeing, like, how you say if a nigga fucking with you, he rocking with you, he gonna do what he gonna do, and he gonna stand on business, and it's gonna be what it is. It's like that set the precedent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he set the tone. Yeah. Like if you ain't coming like this, I ain't, I'm not even. Cause he, this nigga came genuine. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. wasn't on the bullshit. He was here to handle business, and he and he kind of it was an open arms type of situation. We linked up. He wanted to be in my hood, and we just we just embraced each other. It was Damn. it was a genuine situation. Damn. So if you can't come like the baby, I ain't fucking with yeah. you. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna say I'm not fucking with you. Nah, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, nah, we are gonna keep it strictly business though. Right. Like, okay. Those, it ain't gonna be the same vibe. <laughs> yeah, either. nah, it's strictly business. You feel okay. me? After I, after I pay you, you feel me? After I get my you know work, you feel me? I, I holla at you. Right. You holla at me, I holla at you. You feel me? I, right. see, I see you there. You see me there. Right. Yeah, I we go. So, yeah. so. Like the baby, you know what I'm saying? And um, do so. Let me ask you this: Do you have your eye on any other artists that you want to work with? Of course, I, I want to work with a lot of artists, but um, Give like me a few names. uh, okay, goals, uh, Andre three thousand, like that's a goal to work on. Ooh. Like that's one of my goals. You feel me? Another oh, man, another Carolina brother, J Cole. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, facts, you facts. Know? I can't wait to see that. So you now that Andre three K feature gonna be tough. Yeah, I wouldn't so even care. Cole, yeah, though? I wouldn't even care if he did the flute. I wouldn't care. <laughs> I, I just want Andre yeah. three thousand. As long as his name stamp, we man, good to go. You feel me? And, and Mary J. Blige, like them my three top, like wow, Mary J. Blige, down right, like damn, man, I respect it. I respect it. So I know, I know at least with Cole, it's like, or I, I assume, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's it's for one, it's an appreciation for his artistry, his ability, his skill, how he coming, you know what I'm saying, and Cole dude, good dude, all that type of stuff, and also like you said, another Carolina native where you from, right? Yeah, definitely. But Mary J. Blige was kind of unexpected. Like I like, I love that answer, but that kind of caught me off guard. What what led you to feel like I want to link with Mary J. Oh man, I, I, like I said, I grew up with my grandparents. Man, I heard a lot of that Mary J. bumping through the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, for real, for real. So I actually seen um, Meek Mill first album, like the Dreams of Nightmares. And when I seen he had Mary J on it, I was like, damn, this nigga smooth. Like he's right. like, you feel me? Just dreams come true, dreams to reality. Man, I, I really wanted this growing up. I, I went and got it. Damn. So like that's how I looked at it for me. Like, yeah. Cause he could have chose anybody. He chose Mary J. You know what I'm saying? So wow. I look at it as the same thing. Like, yeah. Choose anybody, but I want what I want. I want what I want. Yeah. So you was inspired by me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Wow. Me, me, me. Meek inspired a lot. People ain't gonna admit it to now, like, but yeah, niggas yeah. know Meek really changed. Yeah, their niggas life, know bro. Meek was what, hey man. Meek, niggas I know Meek changed their life, bro. Bro, I'm a boss. Yeah, right. Nigga, do you remember how, how I'm a boss? What when that shit came oh, out? Man. I remember the whole wave of Meek. I'm man, a boss. Man. Like, Listen, I'm a boss. And, uh, welcome to my house party. Party. Right. That was on some of the original big dream chases, big the, 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 the Tupac back was shook the world. Like, oh man, so, man. man. they said Tupac, Tupac back. back. Yeah, yeah. Ross said, man. Listen, I remember, I remember like 2012, 2011, 2010, like, like that MMG run, bro. Like some of that early MMG, yeah. like, um, for those that know, 
Meek, Ross Wale, like Pandemonium, yeah. shit like that. Like to me, that's like classic shit, bro. Yeah, that's like, that's yeah. like early high school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's Pandemonium is like one of them classic, classic Definitely. songs. Definitely. You got yeah. Pills, you got Stally, you got a lot of them guys. Oh, yeah. You were right. saying Stally and Pills. You, yeah, you really talking real MMG yeah, shit, man. Definitely. It's some people that ain't going, like, who the fuck is Pills and Stally? Yeah, man, no. I always talking about Wale and Meek. Like, it's going to be some people who ain't going to peep that. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. man, we just went over their head yeah, with Meek, that. Meek man. know what's up with us, man. He know what's up with the Red Street guys, You man. feel me? No cap. No cap. So, um... Like you said, man, Meek inspired the Mary J and you said you wanted to rock with her. So let's touch on Andre. Like, is it is it kind of the same thing with Cole, just an appreciation for his artistry and how he does things? Oh, no, nah, he, he really invented a style to me. Like, Damn. me growing up, I used to hear everybody say Outkast, you know, start the South and right. they the ones. And the little, the South got something to say. Like, the whole. The South got something to say like, at the award yeah. show. It was all, you feel me? Three stacks, you feel me? Andre three thousand, you know what I'm saying? Fact. So I, Fact. I, 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 I used to love him. I, I seen him do his music by himself. I seen him do it as a, a whole, a gang. Like I just like how he moved. Right. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Outkast, man. Shout out to Outkast and the Dungeon Family. All it. That's a bunch of. That's a bunch of other classic, classic. Southern ATL mm -hmm. shit. For real, for real. So who, who do you choose who to work with? Like what you mean, like, like what you mean by on um, tools? Like who do you decide who you want to work with? Like who do I decide? Like do I yeah. just be like, oh, like yeah. when you look at like, okay, I want to do something with this person or that person. Like how, like how do you make that decision for yourself? Uh, to be honest, it's like the um the vibes. Like, uh, okay, I did a song with Rollo Rodriguez. It was like. I liked it, Rollo mindset, the way he rapped. Like I liked it, his lyrics. The, the he made me think of the old Wayne. So Damn. it was like, okay, I know I probably might not get Lil Wayne right now, but I can get the closest thing to him. Like, right, right. Rollo, nah, I feel it. Rollo tough, man. Yeah. Rollo tough. He he won a bar beer on in Mobile, man. So like. He he, very close to the whole team. Like we we love Rollo Dog. Yeah, yeah, so I'm talking about like everybody else loves him too. But man, the way we love him is totally yeah, different. So me getting one in with him was like crazy. It felt real good. Right, right. Uh, I can dig that. Ain't no wrong with that. Yeah. So you've been making like you've been getting some. You've been making a name. You've been getting some recognition and shit like in the trap scene. As far as that, like, what do you think sets you apart from like other artists that's in the trap scene or just artists in general? Oh, I, I can go get on the track with Akon and still compete. You feel me? I done did. Like, Dang. I got on tracks with Akon and it's still like the same type of vibes. You feel right. what I'm saying? So, like, like people tell you, I can reach any type of crowd. Like, the from age limits, I can, I can have a 55 year old playing a song just like I can have a five year old listening to it. Thanks. You feel what I'm saying? It's, I'm I'm very cultural. I'm very big on the community. I'm right. I'm I'm exactly what in the middle of the road on the streets. I'm exactly right. what it is. Facts. No, nah, trap digging for everybody. Yeah, trap digging for everybody for self for self. For real. No, nah, I respect that. I respect right. that. Yeah, so definitely. with with your contribution to the culture, because you just mentioned the culture as well. What do you feel about your contribution to the culture? Is like unique to just you. Um, Aside from the fact that Trap Dicky, like you said, is for everybody. Um, a side effect that is for everybody. I would say, uh, I think that everybody actually see me definitely in my community doing for the community. So I say that me putting in the work for the community is what gives a lot of people that effect of me. Like People can actually say I was doing stuff for my hood before I got rich. So... Okay. Not saying if I get rich, like when I do get rich, it's coming probably one of these days. Right. But they already know, like he was already taking care of the hood. Like he he already, been doing yeah, that. he been buying the school shoes and stuff like that, like basketball teams. I've been right. doing that. Right. I See, been did that. Yeah, no, I got I got a lot of respect for that, and I know they appreciate you too. Uh, you you don't always hear that. You hear people like they get right and then they get back. 
You know what I'm saying? But for you to be doing that way before you even had the opportunity to really, really bless people, yeah. I, I know I know when people see you again and you continue to do it, it's going to be like, damn, yeah. man, this we used to do this. Yeah, like he been, been doing it. Right? So it's like, yeah, it, even if I was to miss a year or something out of the way, it's like a, <laughs> you feel me? Like he been doing it. Like right. I could you complain by him not doing something this year? He been doing, he been it, doing it for forever. Been, been doing it for ten years already. Type stuff right. like just just in a future reference. Like how could we be mad at him? He been doing this already for three years straight. Right, right. Nah, for real. That's some real shit though. I got a lot of respect for that. So it's what we gonna do, right? We just gonna knock out a little rapid fire round. You ready for that? Let's do it. Let's That's do all it. good. Okay, little rapid fire round. Favorite track classic? Uh, Blue Devil. Blue Devil. Yeah. Okay. Best city for food when you on the road? That's a good one. Hartsville. Hartsville. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One artist aside from the other ones that you already mentioned that you would love to to work with, collab with. Uh, Michael. I might say Michael something. I don't even know no Michael. Uh, <laughs> money bag. <laughs> money bag. Yeah, money okay, bag. no, that's still a good answer. Okay, money bag. Money bag too. What's your favorite thing to do when you're not in the studio? When you're not working? What's what's some trap dick you love to do? Like your top shit? Uh, I be smoking. I smoke marijuana. Smoke. I, smoke marijuana. <laughs> I, be smoking. I be smoking. Real nigga shit. I respect that. <laughs> I be smoking. Okay, give give us one word to describe your music. Uh. Preaching. Preaching. Yeah. That's tough. Preach. Somebody need to hear. Try to be preaching. Yeah, people, yeah. A lot of people always say that. You preach. Yeah. That's tough. I fuck with that. So, you've been putting in a lot of work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if nobody else see you, nigga, I see what's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I know even if they don't see you, now nah, they about to. Like, damn, damn. I'm talking about, give me, what what time is it? <laughs> give me five minutes. Yeah, you they don't know it. who time to get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't see me, now, nah, then you, you gonna, gonna see, see me in a minute. minute. Yeah, damn. For real. Damn. So, and you build, a, you build a strong following, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it's, it's moving, you know what yeah. I'm saying? What could we expect from you next? I know you mentioned something about a project next year or something like that. What's next for Trap Dick? Um, definitely, well, like I said, I'm dropping a trap. Since I'm in Mobile right now, I'm trying hard as I can sure. to um, drop the Rollo track fast for as hell. Sure. Just for me coming out here and people seeing me, right. I'm definitely trying to drop one with their own. You know what I'm saying? That's so fucking crazy because you said Rollo. I'm thinking like, this man got shit with Rollo? Yeah, like, like it is it? Can I pull it up right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm it, like, it, damn, when this happen? It, it ain't now. Yeah, like you can right. go to my page on Instagram and see us with a few pictures. Matter of fact, what time it is? What time it is? It's eight forty eight. We're gonna tell them to drop it tonight. So check your phone by twelve o'clock. Oh shit! It's hey, going down. You heard it here yeah. first. All the streets is watching, man. He gonna tap in with Rollo. Tell him drop that bitch tonight. Yeah, we dropping that shit tonight. While I'm over. No cap. Hey man, it don't get no better than that. Yeah, so man. so you got you got this shit with Rollo coming next. Um, do you have any other big moves? Um, aside from that project that you got coming up. Um. I won't and say. when is hold on? When is that project you said? When is that coming? Uh, it's I ain't it ain't no date on it, but it's definitely okay. coming out the beginning of next year. Though. Okay, no beginning of next year. We know what it to look no out day. for. That's good yeah. enough. That's yeah. good enough. But yeah, any other big moves you got going on? Um, I can't even lie to you. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't put nothing else as bigger than that. Like, I got other stuff like with schools coming up. I got a you know school oh, talks, but that's to me that's regular. You know, I always right. go to the school and talks. I always go to the. DJJs and talks and stuff right. like that. Uh, like you said, you've been you've been a part of the community. Yeah, I've been they a part of the community. Yeah. Yeah. The mayor know like everybody. In the, yeah, the mayor came to the, the baby video shoot, wow. and that's a whole different city that I ain't uh, that I don't live in. Of. Yeah, nah. That's crazy. So it's like I always try to tap in with the community. You know, yeah, so that's hard. Man. I can't say I got anything big coming. I don't have nothing spectacular, but the regular shows, business. You feel me? I look right. at that as work. Right, that's work. right. I got some okay. big shows coming, but that's work. Yeah, you know yeah. Y'all gonna see me when you see me. Yeah, basically. definitely, definitely. Hey, man, wake up every day, Google it. I might be in your city the next day. That's all I'm gonna say. For it's sure. 50 so, states, and I ain't stopping. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. That's, right. that's tough. Yeah, man. So basically, just let everybody know where to find you, man. No, man, trap listen, dicky. man. You can find me on all social networks. It's Trap Dick. T R A P D I C K E Y. It sounds like it's spelled Trap Dicky. Right. You feel me? I'm talking YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google, 
MySpace, <laughs> everything, whatever you can find. Okay. No Google Trap, Dicky on Kick, whatever. Oh, man. anything. Oh, kicks. Google me, find me. Right. You, you can look me up. I'm there. T R A P D I C K E Y. Exactly how it sounds. Trap, Dicky. No cap. Man, yeah. it's been tough, man. Oh, yeah. man, I was so happy that we had a chance to sit down, man. Definitely. And rap, man. Let the people know one more time who you fucking with, man. man. You already know what I'm doing it for, man. Kicking it with watching the streets, feeding the streets. Exactly what it is. It's the streets. You feel me? M-O-B, though. You feel what I'm saying? It's right. M-O-B. They told me I can't say Mobile too much. <laughs> you'll know I'm not from around here. Right. I'm in the M-O-B. Right. <laughs> the streets is watching, man. Right, hey, man, man. It's, it's, it's been a minute with Trap Dicky, man. We just sat down and we talked some shit, man. So uh, we appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. Y'all Definitely, know what to man. do. Like, share, subscribe. That whole Definitely, time, man. man. We here, man. Trap Dicky. And I'm, I'm I'm sleeping here, man. The streets is watching. So if the streets is watching, you might see me in the streets. You feel me? Trap Dicky in the streets of Mobile. Put M-O-B. shit show. Put <laughs> shit show. We out. We out. We out. So then, boom. Hey, man. That was tough, man. You know that tough, was so for sure, tough, for sure, man.